Saint Mary Magdalene, you came with springing tears, the spring of mercy. Christ from him, your burning thirst was abundantly refreshed. Through him, your sins were forgiven. By him, your bitter sorrow was consoled. My dearest lady, well you know by your own life how a sinful soul can be reconciled with its creator, but counsel a soul in misery means what medicine will restore the sick to health. It is enough for us to understand, dear friend of God, to whom were many sins forgiven, because you loved much, most blessed lady. I, who am the most evil and sinful of men, do not recall your sins as a reproach, but call upon the boundless mercy by which they were blotted out. This is my reassurance, so that I do not despair. This is my longing, so that I shall not perish. I say this of myself, miserably, cast down into the depths of vice, bowed down with the weight of crimes, thrust down by my own hand into a dark prison of sins, wrapped round with the shadows of darkness. Therefore, since you are now with chosen, because you are beloved, and are beloved because you are chosen of God. I, in my misery, pray to you, in bliss, in my darkness, I ask for light, in my sins, redemption, in pure, I ask for purity. Recall in loving kindness what you used to be. How much you needed mercy, and seek for me that same forgiving love that you received when you were wanting it. Ask urgently that I may have the love that pierces the heart, tears that are humble, desire for the homeland of heaven, impatience with this earthly exile, searing repentance and a dread of torments in eternity. Turn to my good but ready access that you once had and still have to the spring of mercy. Draw me to him where I may wash away my sins. Bring me to him who can slake my thirst. Pour over me those waters that will make my dry places fresh. You will not find it hard to gain all you desire from so loving and so kind a Lord who is alive and reigns and is your friend. For who can tell, loved and blessed of God, with what kind familiarity and familiar kindness he himself replied on your behalf to the calumnies of those who were against you. How he defended you when the proud Pharisee was indignant. How he excused you when your sister complained. How highly he praised your deed when Judas begrudged it. And more than all this, how can I say, how can I find words to tell about the burning love with which you sought him? weeping at the sepulchre, and web for him in your seeking. How he came, who can say how or with what kindness, to come for him and make you burn with love still more. How he hid from you when you wanted to see him, and showed himself when you did not think to see him. How he was there all the time you sought him, 
and how he sought him when seeking him he wept but you most holy lord why do you ask her why she weeps surely you can see her heart the dear life of her soul is cruelly slain O love to be wondered at O evil to be shattered at you hung on the wood pierced by iron nails stretched out like a thief for the mockery of wicked men and yet woman you say why are you weeping had she not reason to weep for she had seen with her own eyes if she could bear to look what cruel men cruelly did to you and now all that was left of you from their hands she thinks she has lost all hope of you has fled for now she has not even your lifeless body to remain her of you and someone asks who are you looking for why are you weeping you her soul joy should be the last thus to increase her sorrow but you know it all well and thus you wish it to be for only in such broken words and sighs can she convey a cause of grief as great as hers the love you have inspired you do not ignore and indeed you know her well the gardener who planted her soul in his garden what you plant i think you also water do you water i wonder or do you test her in fact you are both watering and putting to the test but now good lord gentle master look upon your faithful servant and disciple so lately with him by your blood and see how she burns with anxiety desiring you searching all round questioning and what she longs for is nowhere found nothing she sees can satisfy her since you whom alone she would behold she sees not what then how long will my lord leave his love to suffer have you put off compassion now you have put on incorruption did you let go of goodness when you laid hold of immortality let it not be so lord you will not despise us mortals now you have made yourself immortal for you made yourself a mortal in order to give us immortality and so it is for love's sake he cannot bear her grief for long or go on hiding himself for the sweetness of love he shows himself who would not for the bitterness of tears the lord calls his servant by the name she has often heard and the servant knows the voice of her own lord i think or rather i am sure that she responded to the gentle tone with which he is accustomed to call mary what joy filled that voice so gentle and full of love he could not have put it more simply and clearly i know who you are and what you want behold me do not weep behold me i am he whom you seek at once the tears are changed i do not believe that you stop at once but where once they were wrong from a heart broken and so tormenting they flow now from a heart exulting how different is master from if you had taken him away tell me and they have taken away my lord and i do not know where they have laid him 
has a very different sound from me. I have seen the Lord, and He has spoken to me. But how should I, in misery and without love, dare to describe the love of God and the blessed friend of God? Such a flavor of goodness will make my heart sick if it has in itself nothing of that same virtue. But in truth, you who are very truth, you know me well and can testify that I write this for the love of your love, my Lord, my most dear Jesus. I want your love to burn in me as you command, so that I may desire to love you alone and sacrifice to you a troubled spirit a broken and a contrite heart. Give me, O Lord, in this exile, the bread of tears and sorrow, for which I hunger more than for any choice delights. Hear me for your love and for the dear merits of your beloved Mary and your blessed mother, the greater Mary. Redeemer, my good Jesus, do not despise the prayers of one who has sinned against you, but strengthen the efforts of a victim that loves you. Shake my heart out of its indolence, Lord, and in the ardor of your love, bring me to the everlasting sight of your glory, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign. God forever. Amen.